Hey, how's it going? Um, sorry, I have to go take two here. So um, I'm Dr. Brian Atkins with the Atkins Academy. Wanted to go live and uh, tell you more about some of the changes that we've made with our T's and HESI prep course. We have an NCLEX course coming up pretty soon here. And so just wanted to tell you more about that as well and go over and review our question of the week, but also just review some of the grammar rules that are not only important for the T's test and for the HESI exam, but certainly when you get into nursing school, they certainly want you to know proper grammar in English. Uh, and we'll talk about that. I know everyone speaks English very well, but wait till you really get to these questions, right? And so we're going to talk about that. You have to be able to identify some of the key components of the question. And so we'll talk about that as well. Um, but one of the things we want to start off with is understanding um, some core concepts of the sentence. And so, um, and so different parts of the sentence, but also some key terms within the sentence. And so that's extremely important to be able to identify and, and understand when it comes to the test. And so here are some, just some of the ones that we go over during our class time. And so these are our English, uh, English key terms that we review during our class time. This is actually um, one of the areas where we actually start our course, um, and so um, with our with our English class actually. And so we talk about nouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, and proper nouns. Um, and so these are different uh, terms. So these are uh, these are terms um, within the sentence. So these are different terms within the sentence. Right? And so we want to identify things like a noun, a verb, an adjective, an adverb. What makes the difference between one versus the other? But also very important to understand different parts of the sentence. So here we have different parts of the sentence. And so in terms of different parts of the sentence, we have things like um, prepositional phrases, your non-essential clauses, your essential clauses, um, but also your independent clauses, dependent clauses. We talk about a complete sentence, a simple sentence, a complex sentence, a compound sentence. We talk about these things so that you understand how to identify these particular components of the sentence. And um, when it comes to the English section, you have to be able to do this, but only for the English section, but also for the math section, for the reading section, for the science section um, as well. And so very important to understand and identify these components. And I feel like this is... Um, this is really one of the core things that you want to be able to do um, if you want to improve your score when it comes to the T's test or the HESI exam. Okay, and so we have um, so we have our question. Um, so our question of the of the week that we want to um, talk about and go over and really dissect a little bit here. And so in terms of our our question of the week. Um, you and you can find it on our Facebook page, um, our Instagram page, our Twitter page. We had, um, had a lot of great responses um, from from a lot of our people who follow us on uh, on our social media platforms. So I want to thank you for that. Um, Natural Beauty Twenty Five um, was one one of those um, people who answered, but other people who answered as well. We really appreciate you um, engaging with us and let us know um, if there are any other types of questions that you'd like to see as well. But in terms of our question of the week here, we have um, we have our question of the week here, which is. Um, Bob yells, let's go. Um, so Bob yells, sorry about that, but Bob yells, let's go uh, to the runners as they ran um, by him, right? Then he added to the one lagging behind, if she's going to catch up, you need to run faster. Go, go faster. Well, if she's going, if she's going to catch up, right, you need to run faster. Well, who is he talking to, right? So the question, so the question here indicates that. Maybe he's talking to the audience, as in she, um, if she's going to catch up, you need to run faster, right? So the pronoun and the antecedent here do not agree. And so she and you, number one, do not agree in person, right? So we have you, which is second person, she, which is third person, right? And so these do not agree um, in person. And so, um, and so uh, if you are going to catch up, you should run faster. If she is going to catch up, she should run faster. Right. If one is going to catch up, she should run faster. Right. And so um, and so with that, we're we're, we're missing um, our, our pronoun antecedent agreement here. And that is the correct answer here is pronoun antecedent agreement. And so we talk a lot during our class time about subject verb agreement. And that is a very big component that they ask about on the T's exam, but also the HESI exam. Um, and so certainly very important uh, concept to, to understand. So what we call SVA. Right. And so we talk about SVA. And that's a very big component that we talk about during our class time. Um, but also. Um, quotations and so when do you use quotations when do you not use quotations
quotations? What goes within the quotations? Do you put the put do you put the period or the question mark inside or outside of the quotations? You will understand that very well after taking our course. But also contractions and apostrophes, right? So understanding um, apostrophes is, is very important. And so um, so understanding, do you use the apostrophe before the s? Do you use the apostrophe after the s? Or do you even use the apostrophe at all, right? And so what's the difference between ITS and IT apostrophe s or ITS apostrophe? Is that even a word, right? And so we talk about those things during our class time so that you clearly understand exactly how um, to um, to answer these questions very effectively and, uh, and accurately. When it comes to the test, that is not the time to try and figure out when to use the apostrophe or where to use the apostrophe or do you put this in the parentheses or not put this in the parentheses. That is not the time to do that and figure that out during the test. The time to figure that out is before, right? And so we can help you to figure those things out, okay? And so one of the things that we're doing now, especially with our T's course, um, and kind of hearing from a lot of our clients, uh, we want to make sure that we're able to, um, to to accommodate your schedules. We're able to um, work with you, and so um, so we've changed our schedule where we um, do evening classes now on on Sundays and on also on Wednesdays. And so our classes will start at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sundays and also on Wednesdays. And our classes will only last five hours, so so no more six or seven or eight hour classes, just simply five hour classes. In terms of our T's course, we have six um, six classes. So the science class has been broken up into two different classes. We have part A and part B. So some people just need to take the um, the, the part B part, so the cell biology, the uh, anatomy and physiology, the molecular biology, gen genetics. And so we can focus on that a little bit more as well with our part B. Our part A is going to be more of the physics and chemistry, um, molecular biology, um, certainly some cell biology mixed in there um, as well. We wanted to um, give you that option to be able to, um, um, the flexibility to be able to take one part and not the other. A lot of people have asked about that. That. So we've we, we've heard you and we've added that to our to our schedule. Um, but in addition to that, we also you also now have lots of access um, to additional questions. The Atkins Academy Question Bank is up and running. You can certainly do questions. Um, you know we, we have um, quizzes that that are available as well to help you to practice the strategies and practice the concepts. And so look for look for that as well. And so. Um, so pretty soon you'll be able to actually um, uh, engage in a free trial with our question bank um, also, where you can actually um, um, access the, the questions for a certain amount of time, um, and then certainly we can, we can talk about um, uh, getting you uh, enrolled uh, for the entire question bank and, and, and the classes and things like that as well. So feel free to um, 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 check out our free quiz that we have on our website right now, so atkinsacademy.com, and then click on the, um, the, free, the free quiz link there. And so um, I, was, I was just just uh, showing you here the um, the inc the the inclex. Um uh, so we also have our NCLEX questions as well. And so this is the new NCLEX distribution um, platform. And so we have lots of NCLEX questions that address these particular um, eight um, components and content, content uh, components um, for the for the NCLEX as well. So not just focusing on the T's test, but also the NCLEX um, also. And so we can definitely help you to prepare um, for whatever um, for whatever test um, you are you are looking to prepare for. And so um, so feel free to um, to reach out to us anytime. Um, I'm Dr. Brian Atkins with the Atkins Academy. You can reach me at 301-960-4950. I'm happy to have a conversation with you and tell you more about our program and tell you what we can help you to and how we can help you um, to prepare for your T's test and your HESI exam and your NCLEX exam. We have lots and lots and lots of questions that we can go through. Um, we provide you with office hours. There's no other company out there that's going to provide you with the office hours that we provide you with. And so my clients can call me and text me, email me for any questions that they have. And hey, Melissa, how's, how's Gone. Thanks for, for joining in. Cornelius, thanks, thank you for joining in as well. Um, Jenna, thank you for joining in. Um, but a lot of these clients who, who have joined in, but also other people know that with our course, um, it is, it is definitely my um, ambition and, and, and certainly my pleasure to help you and work with you and make sure that you pass the, um, the T's test. A lot of people are applying to nursing school. Over a thousand people applying to nursing school at a lot of these schools, but only 40 or 50 people are getting in, right? And so that means that they have to weed out 900 other people. And so when it comes to the T's test, I think you guys got the wrong idea. This is not about getting you into nursing school as much as this is about weeding you out of the applicant pool. And that's what they're doing, okay? So let's have a conversation about that. I'll prove to you and give you some data and give, give you some information that will prove that to you, including the fact that the national average for the T's test is a 64. 
with my clients, I'm getting my clients into the 80s and 90s. And so if you really want to improve your score, get your score into the 80s and 90s, and really be competitive for, for the UCFs and the, and the Valencias and the Kaisers and the, and, the, and the Sac States and the Texas Women Universities um, out there, all, all of those really, really competitive schools that are out there all across the U.S. We have students right now who are in our class from North Dakota, from Utah, from Texas, from Hawaii, from New York, from Chicago. And I can tell you that it is competitive everywhere. So if you're just, you know, if, if you think that you're just going to go in, take it, get a 57 or something like that and get in, it's not that easy anymore. You really have to make sure that you're shooting for the 80s and 90s. That's what a lot of these schools are looking for, and we can definitely help you to do that. Okay? So again, I'm Dr. Brian Atkins. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. 301-960-4950 is my cell phone, is my office line. And uh, you can certainly... Um, Certainly, chat with us on our Facebook, um, on, on our um, on our on our website as well. And so, if you go to our website, you can um, certainly do the live chat. My team, my my other members of my team, can certainly um, address your questions in that platform as well. Okay. But thanks a lot for um, for chiming in and tuning in for the video. And again, we really appreciate you um, um, your support. And uh, and certainly, feel free to um, uh, send us any questions that you like to go over. We're happy to go over any any particular types of questions for you. All right. Thanks a lot for joining in. We'll see you next time. And again, thanks a lot. Everyone um, who joined who joined into the session. All right, have a good uh, have a good night and uh, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. We did have a science class on uh, this past Sunday, but uh, wanted to wish everyone a um, um, happy belated uh, Mother's Day uh, as well. All right, we'll see you next time.